everyone, Dungeon Master 372 here coming at you live from the, the server Dungecraft. Yeah, that's right, we've been working on getting you all set up with a server. Still working on it and it's still not fully public yet because we still got some stuff in the background that's got to go up first. I do want to get started on my Let's Plays and that's what we're planning on doing right now. However, I want to go ahead and kind of cover a little bit of what's going on and how things have been going on and everything else. As you can see, I did not start out just by starting a new world or anything like that. I mean, I did, but I didn't. I started recording this. I've, I've, I've had like three or four attempts at recording video, but I've uh, hit varying issues while recording and stuff like that. So, you know. The initial starting area didn't work out, so I ended up having to move somewhere else. And that area didn't work out so hot either, so here I am. I finally found us a nice little decent area, not too far from spawn. You know, just a few thousand blocks away and everything, and I've kind of gotten started. This is like a second or third attempt. At, at recording let's plays and stuff like that so please bear with me i'm still trying to get back into the swing of things and uh, i do intend on being more fluent and 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 everything and you should not mess up on any more of the action i've got got a lot of stuff going on i i, I, mean, I even got I'm, I'm even kind of getting some st stuff squared away as far as our first big building and stuff like that and getting stuff set up so so please bear with me and again i apologize for the technical difficulties that should be something of the past now i, uh, I i'm kind of getting a little bit more comfortable with everything so 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 yeah so great stuff going on <clears throat> i haven't really been quite right since uh, since my absence uh, i've been doing a lot of research outside of game and stuff like that as far as what's going on with bucket and all that good stuff which that that situation has concluded and it's unfortunate that they got taken down and stripped down off of their website and have all that good stuff that was a good project uh including cauldron cauldron it too uh was was take you know was taken down as well because it was just porting the whole bucket software and and everything and you know which allows for a way of minecraft uh, forge to to communicate with bucket plugins as well which yeah it's it's a crazy thing it was all mainly server side stuff which i'm still kind of dealing with trying to get get this server up and running for you guys so you all can have a way of connecting and playing alongside with me uh, I do plan on covering what's going on over or plan on going over what's going on what's going what's what's in the mod pack and what's 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 out and everything in between with that being said you can get a complete list listing of what mods are in the pack and and everything from, from either your your feed the beast launcher or my website those are two good areas to, to keep up to date as far as to what's being uh, you know what what the content of the mod pack is going to be I uh, do take feedback as well so it would be a good idea if you want to have an influence on what's in and what's out of the mod pack to go ahead and register with my website uh, communicate with me what you would like to see and we will try to accommodate as best we can however um, I'm not gonna there, there are certain things that I do not want in this pack I've already been had suggestions for adding Greg tech and a few other mods that uh, kind of govern the game uh, the original minecraft mechanics i do not plan on adding anything like that in i do like the vanilla minecraft mechanics and everything i do not like like my i do not like my mod packs to be uber powerful i do not want you know i want cuz most players that, that that play my mod pack are either new or are still learning the ropes whenever it comes to feed the beast and tech mods i do not want this mod pack to be over overbearing for those players so therefore stuff like 
Mo uh, the Greg Tech and uh, o uh, Hunger Overhaul and stuff that changes the uh, original behavior of Minecraft itself uh, for the most part I do not want changed up now granted there are some some mods in here that we put in that people see as being overpowering or over uh, you know just gives the player to makes makes the game too easy for players however some of those mods make you know I'm I'm a type of player that likes to build and I I like to build big so some mods that uh, that are that are in here that that allow for quick collection of blocks such as mechanism and uh, the digiminer buildcraft's uh, quarry system and all that good stuff is you know I can see where it is overpowering for some. However, you know I'm not an I'm not an elitist. I do know a lot about uh, about some mods. I do. There are some mods that I don't know much about, mainly because I haven't played with them or used them. And uh, unfortunately, you know I, I, some of the mods I put in here are you know have been requested by several people. Um, mods such as Tree Ores and uh, Ender IO. I, although I haven't played with them much, I've uh, tested them out. But other than testing, I really haven't played with them much. I do know a little bit more about Ender IO um, after testing and everything, and I do really like that mod. Just uh, the same as Mechanism. Uh, Mechanism is one of my favorites, and it allows for you to uh, to multiply your ores by five uh, 5x which means that you get five for each piece of ore that you put into the system you are getting five ingots from so so that's that's a that's a big thing some people don't like that but there's you know it's a process um, and there's a lot going into it and in order to get the 5x you know you got you know you, there's a lot of stuff you got to put in place first and and to me that 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 balances it out um it's it's not to me overpowering it there's a lot involved and in everything but it's rewarding once you get it done so so good stuff there um other than that i'm i don't plan on defending the mods that i put into this pack especially after the fact that they've been requested so if you want to if you want to suggest something that's something and you know to put into this pack Please feel free to go ahead and suggest it because um, the mod, uh, this this mod pack is still under development. As far as the current version, the current version has been tested and is ready to go. Um, however, in a few next few days or so, I will be updating the pack and getting the mo current mods updated again and everything. And you know, if I get a suggestion for a mod, I will run it by my team and see if the if they would you know if they if they think it would be a good idea to add whatever mods that are are suggested by you guys the, the 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 viewers and the players who actually enjoy playing the mod pack so so feel free to go ahead and register on my website all the links and stuff will be in the description below uh, currently we are using version 1.13.1 of DM Tech Mix and you can this can easily be obtained in the feed the beast launcher by inputting the pack code 405 372 under the pack code with uh, button which is uh, located under the third party mod pack tab uh, within the launcher <clears throat> if you have any any issues getting it to work feel, feel free to let me know by sending me an email or leaving a post on my format forums if you have registered that is with the website um, all, again all the links and stuff will be in the description below Now, pretty much what I intend on doing now is kind of covering what I've got going so far. I will cover this in a minute. This is going to this is our smeltery for from Tinker's Construct. So, one of the one of my favorite mods to get started with right off the bat, <clears throat> which which also explains the reasoning behind uh, starting off near a a sandy biome of some sort, such as a desert and also in a place that has plenty of water because that's where you're going to find most of your clay and stuff as uh, in river beds and stuff so uh, yeah and then i you know of course i have plenty of 
gravel patches and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. However, you know, I've, I've got this set up and everything, so I'll go over that here in just a few seconds. I want to kind of cover the starting area, which you can see is just a little bit of a dugout in the middle of a mound here and, and everything. And uh, that's pretty much how I generally start out. If it's not inside uh, in the side of a mountain, it's in the side of a mound of some sort that are a little small little hill. So it's kind of covered and in, in kind of secluded from everything else and everything. And I don't have to worry about mobs, you know, really coming in or anything. I could just block it up if I need to with some more dirt or whatever. Uh, so currently, I mean, I've, I've got a few few furnaces set up. Yeah, I got the initial uh, beginner stuff like the Tinker's Construct uh, tool station, uh, crafting station. Well, crafting station is the same as a, just a crafting table, and I don't generally use crafting tables anymore. Um, I just put the vanilla table into the crafting grid and pull out a crafting station instead. Mainly, the main reason why is I could open this up. Um, let's just say, for instance, I had some gravel of sand that went needed to go out and collect clay. If I if I was to leave it just as it is, the the items are not going to fall out, and they will stay within the table. Uh, with a vanilla one, if you if you left the table like that, the items would fall to the ground or whatever, and everything. So I plan on using a lot of these to. Uh, 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 cold uh, recipes and stuff that I might be going over in future videos and stuff. So I'll be I'll be crafting a bunch of these and stuff, and you'll see that later on. And for those of you who have, have watched my uh, first season Let's Plays, y'all will y'all already have seen this in action, this setup in action before. So so cool stuff there. Got quartz grindstone and of course I do plan on go covering the recipes for all this stuff here in just a moment so so yeah I'm not, you know and then I got you know several chests and stuff but uh, the better barrels and stuff is pretty cool as well I I, uh, I think I had it in my previous mod mod pack uh, you know previous version of this current mod pack and and everything for for 1.6 so the, this is another mod that's that's a, a returning face and probably will continue unless there's something better that comes along in the future i don't see anything coming along in the future uh, as far as the better barrels and all that good stuff but but this is this is a pretty cool little setup so far Uh, let's see, we got a stencil table, pattern chest, and part builder. I mean, as you can tell, uh, Tinker's Construct is something that I get started with pretty quickly and pretty early. First thing I want to cover as far as uh, what's what in Tinker's Construct, I do plan, uh, or I do, uh, let's see, I have, first off, I've got me a materials and you book. That's uh, uh, something that whenever you connect to my server, or whenever you open up a fresh map on uh, uh, with our with the mod pack, you will receive one of these books in your inventory initially. And this book here kind of covers uh, the you know just um, you know how to how to get started with Tinker's Construct and everything, the basic patterns and stuff such as the blank pattern here, the stencil table, which uses the blank patterns to to craft your tables and stuff like that and everything so your part crafter is just a log in a in a stencil and your chest your pattern chest is just a pattern with a chest and gets, gives you a pattern chest uh, tool station is a pattern in a in a crafting station and then your tool forge which is up two blocks of iron which I haven't created this just yet this this one specifically but I will be creating this very soon. I do have almost enough materials to do so. So it's just it's just uh, four iron iron blocks, and you can use actually any kind of metal for the blocks here, and it will change up the looks and appearances of the tool forge itself, which is pretty cool. So you can use copper or or tin or aluminum or uh, there are there's several different ones that you can use. Either way. 
you know, the tool, a regular tool station, because uh, it's just an upgrade. And then you got your three uh, seared brick on the top. And that will give you the tool forge, which is pretty cool. And then uh, that something also that the um, Tinker's Construct adds is a drying rack. You can hang different items in your that you, that you can collect, such as uh, you can take uh, rotten flesh and hang it on these drying racks, and it'll dry it out and give you monster bacon, I believe, or monster jerky or something like that, which is pretty cool. Get it makes but makes a rotting flesh an edible item and everything, and it does heal you without giving you the, the uh, nasty side effect that, that comes along with eating rotten flesh. So that's pretty cool. We slime chittles are are useful for moving entities around, which I don't plan on using that. I might in the future, um, maybe if I decide to use a, some some form of spawner or something to uh, create certain aspects for for Tinker's Construct. Maybe uh, and I can show you a way of creating and crafting uh, emeralds, for instance, should you have a need, a large need for emeralds in the future and everything. And stuff like that. You can also use slime channels for various other aspects as well. And you got your bounce pad there. Poochie sticks, I don't know what, exactly what these are made for. They say traps or blockades to prevent uh, mobs from, from traveling into certain areas, I guess. You got barricades. You got, you know, their basic recipe for grout. Your seared brick recipe and your seared brick recipe using the bricks and the smeltery controller. <clears throat> um, your how to create your book should you ever lose the book that you currently we're currently reading, you can create that by using three pages, one piece of string and two patterns, <clears throat> and the second book of course and the. Uh, <clears throat> and then the third book, of course, or the Mighty Smelting book and stuff. You can get night vision goggles, tool, and this this little contraption, I guess. And feather falling for your for your cool little wing stuff, which is pretty cool. Some some zero for your travelers gear. That's what that's for is for your travelers gears and stuff. That's also something I haven't mentioned yet. You can see I'm using uh, pure BD craft, which is also known as Spax for for Minecraft. I do have most everything in this pack updated and working with, uh, in conjunction with Journey Map. I know that people have had problems and issues with that in the past. I may go over a tutorial with that in the future, but I'm not sure just yet. But that's for just for your armor modifiers and stuff and whatever. There, there are several different ways to modify those armors and stuff like that. So, so you can feel free to check out this book. And everything. So uh, let's go ahead and cover Mighty Smelting. Mighty Smelting. Um, you can also get this by crafting a casting ba uh, table uh, within er, either a casting table or a smeltery controller. And I believe it's the smeltery controller that gives you the book initially. <clears throat> and then there's, an, there's also the other recipe that I just got sh through showing you as well by putting the second book into a crafting grid to also obtain which is awesome now for the most part 
with any smeltery, this is the list of, of all the things that you're going to need. You're going to need one smeltery controller, one seared tank, nine seared brick, and any combination of ten seared brick, seared tanks, or drains, or faucets. Um, now, granted, the uh, tanks, the sear tank isn't really necessary anymore. Um, you can also, uh, instead of a seared tank, you can use uh, you can use the seared windows or seared glass like I've got here um, instead because they also act as tanks as well. Now, granted, what the smeltery does with these with these glass blocks here is whenever there's a lava Fill, filling these tanks up here and it will use one until it's all empty once it's done with that it'll move to the next one and so on and so forth so so you can go ahead and fill up all this glass right here around the smeltery controller and it will still continue to use that so cool stuff there and it does need to be built similar to this now this is the smallest uh, size as far as the dimensions on the inside so so a total of nine blocks Three by three and a three by three square um, is the smallest size. I think it's nine by nine on the inside uh, for, for the largest size. It might be seven by seven. I can't remember it right off the top of my head, but but uh, yeah, you can you can make these pretty big. And as far as uh, height is concerned, you can build this up to almost any height. So, I mean, you can take this from bedrock to sky if you wanted, and it would still operate. <clears throat> uh, with that being said, I believe I do need to cover the various recipes of what I've got so far. Um, I've already covered the tool station, the crafting station, the stencil table, the pattern chest and the part builder now granted I come across a village that had most of this stuff in it so and that's where I come across that instead so you can do that as well but for the most part most people that start off they don't steal stuff from the villages and stuff they like to keep that stuff intact which is fine I however just decided to go ahead and pick it up so that way I because I was having so much issues getting started uh, initially because mainly because of the spawn area that we spawned in right off the bat there's a big old freaking Mesa area that, that I started out in, off in at first and it was really hard to get anything going in there there was no trees uh, and the trees that they did have didn't it was uh, you know okay but you know there was very little grass which meant that I had to really work hard at finding enough seeds to get my first farms going and stuff like that and everything and that made it a little bit difficult for me but I got some something uh, getting I'm getting ready to start a new farm here eventually really soon so so cool stuff there <coughs> Sorry for the congestion. It's, uh, I've been fighting a little bit of a cold here lately, so bear with me. I guess with that being said, I think I've covered just about everything. Let me go over the better barrel and the grindstone recipes real quick. Oh, um, better barrel here is crafted such as this. Just seven wood logs around a wood uh, regular chest and one wood slab of any kind will get you a better barrel and better barrels are pretty much for storing a single item and uh, storing uh, I think 64 stacks initially there are upgrades and stuff that I will cover in, in future episodes but you can upgrade these to to store got a lot of stuff in just that one space but I also have a better storage system that I will set up eventually in the near future as well once we get power set up and some other stuff going I will definitely have this stuff consolidated into a smaller space <coughs> 
So, with that being said, I think that pretty well covers what I wanted to cover today, getting started and everything. For In the future, in the next video or so, I do plan on covering our area for our for our base which I've got working on over here kind of show you that area really quick like um, I'm I, as you can see I'm, I'm excavating this out a little bit uh, probably gonna take it down just a little bit more to kind of get a little bit more area set up and everything but once I get this down to a decent level which I will do work on that between the episodes from, the, from this episode and next and then maybe next episode I can get started with building us our first base and maybe setting up a few farms and stuff for food and whatnot that sounds like a plan and winner to me so yeah <laughs> a lot of cool stuff going on I hope you all enjoyed what you see here Thanks for watching us today. If you like what you see here, please click like and subscribe. Please check out all the cheap, all the links and stuff that are in the description below, should you want to check those out. And feel free to check out the website and all that good stuff and everything. So, so yeah, you guys are a great support system. So please feel free to to give me shout outs and and what's up and stuff like that I do plan on a lot of other stuff coming on in the future so so feel free to keep 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 coming back to my channel because I always have some new stuff coming out I you know, again apologize for for lengthy delays and some some technical difficulties here in the last few days but everything is going better and uh, as always guys I want you all to all have a good one